Hi guys, just heading down the side right here now, takes you down towards Camping Lazaretta and it also brings you out on one of the main back roads here in Benidorm. There of course you do have Camping Lazaretta, this bit here is for like your big camper fans, your big offies, and of course, there's one of them in there showing you can do Christmas in an RV, not a mobile home. They've got their Christmas tree up that side. I imagine that's undergone quite a lot of battering from the wind we've had over the past few days. Zooming out now. Just gonna try to take it rather easy down here. Cause we are still on a road, of course. And um, well, people do tend to speed down here that they tend to use this sort of road as a little waste track. Got second half a camping ladder at a day and the bar just up the back there. And of course, your third half just here. And then I also was saying, <laughs> this road and um, got a few other boats in Benidorm that are quite quiet, not really used by police. They get used as uh, race trucks, one especially that gets used as a race truck is the infamous Gypsy Lane that gets used as a racetrack quite a lot. It's also used by the emergency services quite a lot to get to this side of Benidorm quicker. Just stop here a minute, show you the nice view. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Welcome outside says the best views are in Blackpool. Well, he must have never been to Benidorm. Best views in the best sunsets are in Benetton. So, a uh, winter season is when you do tend to get those absolutely smashing sunsets, mixtures of your reds, your pinks, your oranges, your purples, that just make for a beautiful sunset, guys. Is the speed limit down to slow to slow? 20 mile per hour speed limit. Just behind that big gate, I mean that big fence there, you do have camping letter at the Then of course, just there is another sort of residential complex, residential La Huerta. Looks quite nice. And we are sort of coming to the end of this little 
back road sort of thing now. I've had I will not be finishing the video just yet, so stay tuned. Nice little sort of orange garden there. <laughs> Trying to stay in a bit. It's rather narrow down here. Not as narrow as Gypsy Lane though. That is quite a rough, narrow road. Quite dangerous as well to walk down there. Being the middle of nowhere, you are sort of putting your life on risk. Gonna try come up into the bike lane now. Just there is another campsite, of course. Can't remember. Oh! The name of it's just coming up now. Camping Villasol. Think me, I want the wrong side here, but... Doesn't matter. Um, coming down this sort of back road as well, you do get a few of the international school, see what they offer. They do have numerous basketball courts, some sort of like oversight courts as well, tennis courts. So I imagine that would be quite a good school to send your children if you are living here in Spain. And of course, camping for the soul just there across the road. Oh! Smells like someone's making pie or something. Well, sorry that you guys can't smell that either. Like, it's got a nice homemade steak pie. Got reception there for camping for the salt and this awesome bike there. Now, check that out. That does look like something pretty awesome. Imagine just cruising along. The front on that, like maybe take a nice drive down into Altea, goes along Altea and I'll be a safe front. Now that would be some interesting. Got a sunny day today as well. I am all to cut supplies. Was a bit windy this morning as well as last night. There was quite a lot of wind.
heading towards the Benidorm Market Grounds as well. Think that will probably packed up for today. Fingers crossed, though, I have had a good day today. Past, past couple of times we've been, Benito Market, it has been rather quiet. But they have struggled. So, I do wish them all the best of luck. Hopefully, they are able to do it. And this is a temporary car park. And across the way, you do have another temporary car park. And you wouldn't believe what it's for, guys. It is actually a temporary car park for your COVID vaccine. Now, if you want to laugh, check out the queue. Massive. Absolutely massive queue for me. Huge queue. And to be fair, from what I have heard, you may as well forget having an appointment because that don't seem to work on appointments now. Friend of mine, she had the best of vaccine scheduled for half past 12. She ended up going in for it at about 10 to 2. Or ten to three, I think it was. Can't quite remember, but still. They are pretty busy with these jobs. Anyway, God's gonna end with a few of this nice little park. Hit subscribe, hit the like. See you in the next one.